This week's question comes from Ada, who wants to know if there's industrial antifreeze in cosmetics. The answer technically is yes. In this episode, I'm gonna go over why something found in the radiator of your car can also be found in cosmetic products like mascara, liquid foundation, and lipstick, and whether this is something you should lose sleep over. There are two common chemicals used as antifreeze, ethylene and propylene glycol. Only one of them is used in cosmetics, and only one is toxic. The key lies in the multiple OH groups. These hydrogens bond with water and prevent them from forming solid, ordered structures, like ice. This is great for New Yorkers who need the radiator function in the freezing cold, but a buzzkill for Mother Nature who can't form ice because the freezing point has been lowered. Historically, antifreeze was made with ethylene glycol. This was good for radiators, but not so great for the future of cat videos, dog memes, and our mini memes. You see, ethylene glycol smells and tastes invitingly sweet, but when ingested, is toxic. Our body converts it to oxalic acid, which are calcium salts that crystallize and cause kidney failure. This unfortunate history is probably what you think of when you hear the word antifreeze. Luckily for you, ethylene glycol is not in your cosmetics, and it's becoming even less common in cars. It's propylene glycol you'll find in your cosmetics. Like ethylene glycol, it lowers the freezing point of water, and it also smells and tastes sweet. But, unlike its molecular counterpart, it's virtually non-toxic. If ingested, it's converted to pyruvic acid, which is no big deal. Our body makes some of that anyway. So rejoice, there will be enough fuzzy creatures to enjoy an uninterrupted stream of wool cats. Now propylene glycol can be found in all sorts of cosmetics in small amounts. It can do things like attract water, prevent skin from flaking, and keep products from freezing or melting. In higher concentration, it can even help active ingredients penetrate the skin. So yeah, I get it. It's kind of freaky to find propylene glycol in industrial antifreeze and your cosmetic products, but just because it's in automotive products does not necessarily mean it isn't safe or useful for cosmetic products. Hey YouTubers, if you have any other burning cosmetic science questions, then put those fingers to work and put them in the comment section below. I'll see you soon.